Hey everyone, Guardian E here with a video for Azure Lane Crosswave. This is the PS4 game that released featuring the Azure Lane franchise, the first console related Azure Lane game that came out. This came out uh, in Asia and Japan about a week or so ago, or maybe a couple of weeks ago. Um, and as you can see here in the title screen, it features uh, Shimakaze and Suruga, two new uh, ships that are not available in Azure Lane proper. And the game itself is sort of a mishmash of centralized storylines and it looks like third-person kind of shooter-esque uh, gameplay. So we're going to be giving it a shot. This is, again, the Japanese version, so it's not in English, meaning that, of course, we're not going to be able to understand anything that's happening. But all the same, we wanted to, I want to just give it a shot, give it a showcase, um, let people see it for the first time, as well as kind of show off my first uh, impressions of the game as I'm going through it. Now, I did uh, boot this up earlier and take a quick screenshot of these controls because I wanted to be able to understand. There aren't that many resources online right now to demonstrate how you're supposed to play the game uh, or the control schemes at that. So uh, so I, I took a screenshot and, and used uh, the Google Translate app to try to translate exactly how to play. So from my best approximation, I believe D-pad up and down, zooms in and out, D-pad left and right, switches between characters. I think you can have up to three characters because you're controlling the Vanguard fleet, so you have three ships. Uh, left stick moves around the ship, uh, right stick moves around the view or the camera. Uh, R1 and R2 are, I think, Firearm 1 and Firearm 2 respectively. Circle, I think, is a lock-on attack, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, X is an evasive maneuver. Triangle, I think, changes or maybe deactivates the lock-on. It does something with the lock-on. And then Square, I think... Maybe square is the block on attack and circle is the skill. I, I, I don't know. It's it's one of the two. So that's basically what I know as far as that's all I know at this point. So let's get started. Let's let's just see what this is all about. Obviously we're not gonna know what's going on in the cutscenes, but that's okay. We'll just kinda play it by ear. Uh Okay. Alright, so here's Shimakaze, again, the new ship that is not yet in Azure Lane proper. Um, as well as uh, Suruga is the other one. So, uh, I'm guessing this is settings, cinematics, home. Um, I don't know. It started me on this icon, so I guess let's just go into this one. I think that might be the story. It does have a book there. I don't know what any of that is. Well, you know what? We're going to figure it out together, right? I guess they're talking about the Eagle Union right now. And the Royal Navy... Okay, and the Iron Blood. Okay, and the IJN fleet, the Japanese fleet. And that is what the two new ships are a part of. They are both part of the Japanese fleet. Okay, here's Suruga and uh, Shimakaze. And I don't know how it actually works. Uh, I don't know if you control them or if they're just part of the central story or not. Now, I'm pretty sure I've seen some gameplay of the starter ships, so they might start us off with the starter ships like Javelin. Um, oh, hey, there's Takao. Hey! Nice to see one of my one of my favorite ships, and the art's not censored either, which is kind of kind of nice. I was expecting it to be. I, I guess this is the Japanese version, so we might have dodged that bullet. A lot of familiar faces. I think they reworked some of the art at least. Like they added some facial expressions. Okay, there's Kongo and Yamashiro. Nice to see them. I guess they're all deploying at this point. So we're taking the central position of the IJN fleet it looks like. I don't know why Shimikaze is surprised. So I guess these two aren't... They're not used to being deployed. I like Suruga's, uh, the color of her hair, like, on the underside. I didn't notice that when I first saw the promo art, but I'm seeing it here. Alright. So are we going to get into some gameplay? Maybe a tutorial or something at this point? Okay. Interesting. So we've got a world map. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm controlling Shimakaze here. I like how she's like humming a little tune. That's very cute. Okay. So uh, I don't know what X and triangle do. Let's try it out here. Triangle. 
Oh, goes into the menu. Okay. All right. That's fine. And X does what? X just zooms out? Oh, I guess X actually increases the speed as well. So it zooms out and you move faster. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay. Uh, well, there's only one place to go. So it looks like we're going to be going into an event battle here with Saruga, I guess. So, yeah. so it's unclear at this point if, it, if it's like a training exercise or something. I'm not really sure who we're engaging again. Ooh, things got ominous real quick. I don't know what this beautiful sunset means, but can't be good. Okay, so looks like this will be the deployment screen. So I, I'm guessing that means you can use three vanguards. Is that right? So if I hit triangle, what does that do? I don't know. Uh, so I, it looks like triangle might be the equipment. So I, I obviously don't have any equipment right now. Uh, L1 and R2, L1 and um, uh, and R1 change between the different fleets, I guess. But I only have two fleets to choose from. Is that right? Yeah. So oh, what did I do? Oh, I left. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be controlling Shimakaze here. Uh, so circle, yep, yeah, triangle, so triangle is lock on, and then X is dodge. It looks like Surugi basically, Suruga basically took out everything. So are we supposed to go this way, I'm guessing? Okay, so R it looks like R1 is the gun, and R2 uh, are the torpedoes, is that right? Feels like the lock-on isn't quite as consistent as I'd like it to be. I could just be kind of screwing it up here. I mean, it feels responsive. I mean, they're gliding appropriately, so it feels it feels pretty good. Okay, so we got an S rank. You can get a rank of C to S, looks like. So I could probably replay that, right? I don't want to get in that cutscene again, so I'm not going to. Okay. So I need to unlock new ships, and I don't yet know how to do that. Well, let's just engage in this battle, and then maybe we'll get whatever currency we need to unlock ships. I don't know. I don't know what it takes. Okay, so we got some grounded ships this time. Alright, so the there is cooldown for the specials. And I can unlock... Yep, so I released some torpedoes there, which is nice. Okay, so... Okay, so I activated my skill with the square button. And then... Okay, and then circle is your lock-on special attack. And then I'm launching some torpedoes at this last ship. There we go. Okay, so I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit more. I'd like to play as Taco. Or Atago, really. But Atago has not yet made an appearance. So actually, let's, let's look at the menu here. So maybe we can buy... It looks like that would be like return to home, or maybe this is home. Let's check it out. Okay. So it looks like we can buy equipment here. Ooh, there's a gold chest. Cool. I don't know what that is, but I will take that. Some tier four boxes. Ah, that's cool. All right, so what? Oh, I have to go this way. I guess the compass is telling me where I'm supposed to go. Yep, okay, here we go. Okay, so it looks like we might engage on Takao here. Uh, if we get her, I should probably really try the uh, the character swap. She doesn't seem very pleased. <gasps> ah, to go, yes! 
しっかり反省しなきゃダメよ Looks like we were causing trouble and Takao and Atigo are not pleased. Yeah, it looks like Atigo and Takao have new expressions in this. Oh, it's so nice to see Atigo. Alright. If, if we can control her, that would be great. I'd love to play as Atigo. Can we, can we do that? Can we make that happen? Oh, hey, there's Kaga. She looks very bored. Oh god, what's this? I heard resort, so maybe this is like... Where are we? Is this a train station? Why are we in a train station? I think I'm gonna have to start skipping the story because I don't really know what's going on at this point. Um, it is all nicely voice acted at this point. Uh, there's Nagato, apparently. It looks like somebody fainted maybe. There's Akagi. Good to see her. So, oh, here we go. Okay, so this one does say event battle, so I'm, I'm guessing we're actually going to battle here. Okay. Hopefully we can see some familiar faces on us with on the battlefield. Or on the battle, battle seas, the battle waters. Okay, so I'll try to switch to Saruga this time. Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Very nice. Okay, so her, uh, she doesn't have an evasion dash like Shimikaze does. She actually has, like, a shield that she puts up. So that's kind of cool. I prefer the evasion, to be completely honest. Presumably it has some iframes associated with it. What am I, what am I looking at here? Oh, I just, I have to go this way, I guess. The lock-on is kind of... It, it's weird, because it doesn't lock on the camera. What it does is it just locks on your shots, I think. So every time you're firing, it ends up uh, aiming those shots at a specific um, locked-on target. But but I'm, I'm more used to when the when the camera kind of locks on to... I, I think it still works, but um, I'm used to when the camera actually locks onto your locked-on target. It doesn't look like that's the case. You lock onto a specific target, and you can kind of strafe... And view around, and I think the torpedoes just head towards your target when you fire. Oh, there's Belfast. That just kind of and Unicorn and Illustrious. They just kind of popped up there. I know that the it looks like the at least the central story is probably Sakura fleet based. Just, I mean, the two new new ships are Sakura based, so it would make sense. Um, okay, so here's an event. So it's not a battle. I'm hoping this is a little bit more of a drawn out battle because I, I want to be able to test some stuff. That I haven't really been able to. Oh, hey, here's Ayanami. We're, we're getting, um... Do we get to control her? I don't know. No, no. Uh, we just... Oh, whoops. I guess we just get her as an assist? Oh, no, we're fighting her. Okay. Let's try the, uh... Let's try the special activation button. Oh, that, okay, so we got a Volley Barrage as her lock-on attack. And we're firing our torpedoes. Okay. Waiting for the cooldown on our special to reactivate. Let's switch to uh, Saruga for a second. And let's see what her, uh, her lock-on... Okay, so it's also a Volley, which is nice. Definitely powerful. And I can activate the shield. Okay, there we go. Did I run out of time or did I actually take her out? Well, got that one. Whoa, 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 look at all these events. What is this? Jeez, okay. Um, that's a lot of events and no battles. Uh, so... Alright, so let me see if there's a way for me to get more ships, because that's really what I want to do. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. 
Oh wait, okay, maybe... What is this? this? Oh yeah, so that was just to save. I mean, that was basically it. That's not really anything special. I guess this is to load, probably. These are just the settings that we looked at before. I'm just wondering if I can get more ships, like, if I go to the main menu. Probably not. I, I'm not... I'm not sure. That just takes me there. Oh, hey! Okay, I can buy these, uh... Alright, so apparently I can get these other ships, I just have to spend for them. Um, and I don't have enough of the currency to do so. So I would have liked to have been able to get uh, Akagi here, but I don't have enough of this this currency up there, which are like Akashi points or something. I don't really know. It looks like a paw and an A. So you have to earn those and then be able to unlock the other ships. So let's see if we can earn enough to... Oh, what is this? Okay, so these are the different chapters, so if you exit out, obviously you can go back and revisit different chapters. That makes sense, of course. Um, and then... I'm So I'm wondering if I can get more of that currency just by redoing battles? So you can only use the circle attack when you're locked on, because that's her lock-on volley. Um, and I, I think that's probably true of all of all of the ships. Is that that's kind of their special lock-on attack. And then again, square is their like skill activation. I don't know what Shimakaze's is, so I don't know what it does. Okay, so we, let's see if we get any more of that currency by redoing the battle. Uh, we do! Okay, we get 20 of that currency, so... Oh my god, that's a it's gonna be a grind. Yeah, I'm not sure how this will play out when you have like an actual main fleet to protect. So I'm assuming like you're you're basically playing as the vanguard fleet, um, or the vanguard uh, ships, and then the main fleet is behind you, probably, presumably. And if that's the case, you know I don't know how that changes things. If you like call in the volleys like you would in the you know Azure Lane proper, the main game. Okay, it's kind of funny. She says Oishi when she eats one of the green things. So presume it makes it you know seem like they're actually eating the health orbs. I don't know. I don't know if it's like food. Oh, actually, maybe it's a uh, maybe it's like coolant, like curry or coolant or uh, cola, oxy cola. Could be, could be oxy cola. What are we looking at here? Oh, here we go. That's right. Yeah, so I want to see if there's a limited range for this thing. No, that volley can go super far, so there's no real reason to get up close for that volley, it looks like. Is this the shop? I don't know what this is. This just opened up, though, so we have access to this shop now. Uh, okay, so we can buy equipment from Shiranui's shop. That's good to know. And then from here, from Akashi's shop... Uh, I don't know what this is. Okay, so it looks like we did open up the shops, which is what I was wondering about. Looks like a battle with Atago. I would be excited about that. Let's see what we got here. Oh, cool! New art! Got Atago, Takao, and Yamashiro. Are we gonna have to fight all three? That would be really cool. I like all of those ships, so that would be a fun battle. Let's see what they got for us. There's Vestal, new Vestal, Vestal art. Or like redone, like high res Vestal art or whatever. Oh look, so we are going to have to fight them. Oh, awesome! So this is going to be like, uh, well it's now it's two on three I guess, because I haven't purchased another ship, but that's pretty cool. So we're going to have to face off against Atigo, um... Takao and Yamashiro here. So that is pretty cool. Um, can I get all three? Yes, I can get all three with the volley, so that is good to know. You can lock onto multiple targets, and when you've locked onto multiple targets, you can unleash the volley um, to target all three. So that is definitely good to know. Okay. 
めるいや、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私I don't know if that was within the 120 seconds. It's actually kind of tight. And the fact that I only have two ships kind of hurts it because I can't swap to the third. Oh, hey, there's another 60. So this is another good one.、Um, and I think this one might be a little bit quicker than the other one. So that's good to know. Looks like I also unlocked something. So now, as I understand it, each of the ships actually has their own kind of separate paralog type story that. Kind of goes a little bit more into depth for that particular girl, so that's kind of nice. Get a little bit more of an in depth look aside from the main story, so you get these little side stories, which is、um, potentially nice, really nice. Okay, so this is a battle. Let's jump in. I saw Belfast in the dialogue, so maybe we're going to be fighting against Belfast. There's Atlanta,、um, or Atlanta. Okay. So I know, I realize that I haven't really used the zoom in or zoom, zoom out function at all. Oh, wow, there's the zoom in function. So if you really want to get up and close and personal with the fighting, geez, that is that is really close. So it, start, it defaults you in the maximum zoom out.、Um, and then you can choose to zoom in as much as you need to. Let's take a quick look because I just want to see if it's possible、um, to get any more ships. Come on, please. Oh, yes! Oh, that's awesome! Yes, we have access to more ships. Yes, this is what I wanted. Okay, so Otago immediately. Like, absolutely without question. Yes! Hey, Otago! Awesome! So, so happy to see you. Alright, l and we could probably get Yamashiro also, maybe.、Um, we could get Taco. Certainly wouldn't mind getting Taco. They're also super cheap, only 100? That's ridiculous. We may as well. Okay, perfect. Um, my only concern is that they're level one, so I won't be able to. Here, let's. Who else can we get?、Um... Let's go ahead and get Yamashiro. Awesome, so we got some more ships to play with. That's great. So, how do we. How do we set the fleets? Is it this way? Yes, I think so. Okay, so. So, we can probably add to the fleet, right? Um, I mean, at least for the time being, I don't know what I'm doing, so. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm sorry. God, it's that simple. You just have to hit square. Okay, so hitting square adds them. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so. Oh, she, she says bench disc. <laughs> when, you, when you remove her.、Um, wait, how do I put her back? 
Can I not put her back? Oh, does that mean she's mad at me? The little angry face in the corner, does that mean she's mad? Is it because like, I'm using her and taking damage? I don't know. I'm not sure, but... Alright. So what is this? Wait, I entered a versus battle? I didn't even realize I did this. Okay, so there apparently there's a versus. I had no idea what I was doing. Oh, this is cool. Okay. I, all my characters are level 1, so I'm probably going to get destroyed here. Alright, let's take a look here. So, yeah, definitely not as fast as Shimakaze, uh, but Atago does have the dodge and the same general layout. Guns on the R1, uh, torpedoes on the R2, and then it looks like, what, a volley? Yeah, a volley, which all makes sense. Oh, jeez. Okay, and it's nice. Okay, so my, it looks like Akashi's skill or the main fleet skills activate automatically, so I don't have to worry about that. That actually is very nice. Cool. Okay, well that was a random versus fight. I d didn't even know you could do that. And they are already at level 7, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, okay, so these are just challenges, I guess. These are ch This is like challenge mode? Alright, so that's what the turret is, I guess, is to go into... Uh, a challenge mode, and then... Let's see what this is. This camera? What is this? Oh, is this like a dramatic shot you can do? Like a camera? Let's see. Oh, it is! This is cool! You can kind of, like, pose them and stuff? That's neat. That's neat. I like this. Oh, okay. This is pretty cool. I like this. And then, like, in the corner, it shows the actual camera. Oh, you can actually see the camera right there. So, we zoom in. This is actually kind of complicated, because I don't know how to... So you can swap between the characters here. So here's Yamashiro. Here's Atago. Get like a moonshot. And then here's Takao. All right. Um, oh, I can like freeze frame them, I guess. Oh, okay. So they're in like different, um, gotcha. So that's what triangle does. So like, if I hit triangle, that'll let me pose them differently in different ways. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And you can kind of get a um, little bit of a close up on, ought to go here. Let's see. What kind of a dramatic pose do we want? I liked, um, I like this one. This one's pretty cool. Alright, so we can do this. And... Let's move her over, like, in front of the moon, right? Isn't that cool? Okay. And I'm guessing this is, what, the facial expression, maybe? Yeah, so this is the facial expression, the second part. So you can change it to what you want. What does this do? Oh, that changes her blush. <laughs> so the the third option changes their blush. Oh, I can turn them. Okay, so you can rotate with the uh, the L1 and the R1 buttons. So that's kind of cool. Okay, you can get rid of the UI with X. What does square do? So square is the camera, I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, I kind of didn't really position them well, huh? So this is cool. I mean, I like this mode. I, this is like kind of stupid stuff that I really love that you could just kind of pose them and do different things and zoom around. It's pretty cool. I like it. 
Uh, you can get up close and you can get in there and you can pose all of them how you want to go for dramatic shots really neat i do like this i like this mode a lot and then what is this so this is probably the cinematics cool so like achievements music what is this just different story art yeah so this is the story art that appeared in game so you can take a closer look at it uh, he's right here are the different cutscenes. You can actually go and watch them independently. The music. That is cool. Okay. Well, let's see what this is. Okay, this is unclear at best. Is this like story time with Atago and Takao? Yeah, this might be like their own little story, which is cool if so, but it's kind of weird that it's tucked away. Okay, <laughs> I got something out of it. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, so maybe the, it's unlocking like little side stories and this is where you watch them. That could be. Well, let's keep progressing. Let's see if we can actually use the ships that I purchased in these battles. Just because I don't really have an attachment to Shimakaze. Oh yeah, they're already they're already here in the fleet. Okay, cool. So let's let's try them out. They might get they might get decimated because I haven't really leveled them up very much, but hopefully not. We'll see in a second. Okay, so she's got a slow fire, or slower fire. And again, she moves a little bit slower than Shimakaze. Shimakaze definitely has that, like, super, um, like, uh, fairy speed. Like, she's a tiny, a tiny ship, so she's very, um, very speedy. All right, so here's Hood. Oh man, that slowed down. <laughs> so it looks like for ships, especially ships with a lot of cooldown for all of their guns, um, like swapping between ships is going to be like a really important. Um, because you want to be able to just juggle the cooldowns of the different guns that you have for your different ships. And the best way to do that is going to be just swapping constantly between them. At least that's that's how it feels. Because um, like it wasn't as much of an issue with uh, Shimakaze, because Shimakaze basically can like constantly be firing her one gun. All right, so we are going to be fighting Ajax here. And so far, like the visuals aren't mind blowing, but they look good. I mean, you even get like some of the motion blur a little bit with uh, some of the attacks that you get and things like that. It's pretty good. I mean. It looks nice, and the characters certainly seem pretty faithful to their um, their Azure Lane mobile game renditions. Here's a, here's Lusty making her grand entrance. Um, and like I said, it feels good to play. I mean, it feels pretty responsive. The ships control differently. They all have their own kind of unique speeds, at least. It looks like you can play, play around a lot with the different compositions um, and have some fun with it. And definitely, I think, like, the highlight, at least thus far, and of course, you know, I just started, there's, oh wow, you saw all those ships come out of, uh, Lusty there as a carrier. So I don't have a carrier just yet that I can play around with, so we haven't really seen that. I can try to get, um, I can try to get a Kagi or Kaga before I kind of close out, the, out this video to showcase maybe some carrier effects. 
But yeah, I mean, it, it feels nice to play. So far, it's a little bit mindless. I mean, there's not a ton to do, but it's, I'm sure it's going to get more difficult. There's going to be more, you know, you're going to have to be more aggressively swapping ships and activating skills and dodging uh, appropriately. Because currently, I'm just kind of mindlessly doing it, but I, I can definitely see how it can get more difficult with more damage. Obviously, there's also, like, the equipment aspect to it. You're, you're going to have to... Um, Equip a lot of uh, different gear and upgrade that gear potentially. But yeah, I mean, it feels pretty nice so far. I mean, it's obviously heavy on the visual novel, which I'm perfectly okay with. I love, I really do enjoy visual novels a lot. And I think it, there's a lot of opportunity to expand on the characters that they established in the mobile game. Um, definitely. And, you know, I think anybody that's played the mobile game probably wants to see more and more of these characters and see them interact. So this is like a, a, an excellent opportunity to do so. Uh, and for them to expand on the characters and the world building, so I think this is an awesome opportunity to do so. Uh, obviously, I don't understand any of this, so that's, and I won't understand it until uh, until the North American version does get released sometime in 2020. Uh, bear in mind that they did again announce localization for this game, so we will be getting it and be able to understand it at some point in the future. I think Idea Factory is publishing it potentially, maybe. Uh, I, I can't I can't be entirely certain about that but uh, um, but regardless uh, that is definitely something to look forward to oh here's Belfast and illustrious nice I love these these are the cool things that like the 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 full fleets like the full ship girl fleets against the other full ship girl fleets that's like what I like to see it's pretty neat okay. making some progress chipping away. I think we're a little underleveled, like I said. Ajax is providing some support for the enemy team. Alright. Okay, we're almost there, I think. Is that Ajax that's gone down? Yep, I think so. And who is left? Is that Lusty? Or is that Belfast? That is Belfast. No, that's Lusty. Okay. So, let's take her out. Let's fire off some torpedoes here. Oh, that's cool. So she fires, fires the huge barrages as part of her skill. Which makes sense, of course. I think I might be running out of time. Oh, actually, the timer just goes up. It doesn't go down. So technically, you have unlimited time. You're just not going to do very well. Oh my god, those, sh <laughs> those scarier planes flying out. Okay. I think targeting of the planes is a little bit tougher. Um, actually, I mean, I guess that makes a lot of sense unless you have a ship that's kind of geared towards anti-air. So maybe, um, maybe like a uh, San Diego. If I, I'm pretty sure San Diego's in the game. Yeah, system struggling a little bit when you're doing like constant switches and skill activations. But like, I feel like that's how you're supposed to play this. I mean, that is. With, like, by staggering the cooldowns of, like, your three ships, that's kind of, like, the most effective way to constantly send barrages out and everything else. Oh, okay, cool. We've unlocked a whole bunch of new ships. We've unlocked uh, some of the HMS ships, so that's neat. We've got Belfast available, as well as Hood, Illustrious. We've got uh, Unicorn. Okay, very awesome. Right, let's go for Illustrious, then. Let's go ahead and grab Illustrious. Very awesome. Let's, uh, let's play around with Illustrious a little bit here. So she sends planes out naturally. That makes a lot of sense. And she does have a dodge, so it's good to see. Ooh, hey St. Louis! Can we unlock her here? That would be awesome. I love St. Louis. That'd be great. 
Okay, that's so cool. I like that effect of the planes for launching the planes out. Okay, let's let's keep that uh, that strategy going of swapping for the different specials and skill activations. <laughs> the plane the plane activation is really cool. I do like that a lot. Alright, pretty cool. Okay, well unfortunately that's that's not gonna happen uh, before the close of this video. So I think we're just gonna grab Belfast instead, which is perfectly fine. Belfast is awesome. Oh, okay, we're up against Cleveland. And it looks like she's by herself. It's very interesting. Okay, I want to take out the background ships first if I can. Oh wow, Cleveland was I guess the mini boss. I don't think I guess she was not the main force. Okay, Cleveland's back, and this time with Long Island. So I'm sensing a theme here. I'm guessing that we're gonna take them out and then uh, for the final battle, it'll be three of them, maybe. Continuing the strategy of rotating and using our focus. Um, Lock-on specials, or lock-on skills, and activa skill activations. Oh my god, everything's slowing down. Okay, I am taking some damage, or at least Otigo is. Which I guess makes sense, I'm being the most aggressive with her, I think. お助けいたします。Alright, almost there. Cleveland's on her last legs. Or no, that's Long Island. Long Island's on her last legs then. This should do it, I think. There we go. Alright, oh, okay, so no, no wave three, apparently. That is fine. Oh wow, this is really pretty. Look at that. That's super nice. Whoa. Well, that's also pretty, but that's not what I wanted. There we go. Yeah, no. So you've got like a little Aurora Borealis action. That's very cool. All right. So final thoughts from the first look, and I'll, I'll say this to start. This is not a comprehensive review by any stretch of the imagination. For one thing, I can't understand anything that's happening in the story. And I could very well be missing, you know, certain components of gameplay due to not being able to decipher 
the UI and the tutorial prompts. So uh, definitely, definitely not a full review. Uh, and even so, I've only played for about three hours now total. So there's plenty of game left for things to change and opinions to change. Uh, I'll start off with the visuals. It's got these nice cell shaded esque graphics, you know, to emulate the anime look of the game. The designs are very faithful. They've revamped some of the actual art, uh, the portrait art from the game with more expressions like the older ones like Takao and Atago. Now, I certainly have nothing against visual novels. I do wish there were more story segments with the, with the actual like in-game models themselves. I thought that would be kind of a nice touch. You don't really get that. That's really only in the gameplay. The rest of it is just a visual novel and like in-game CG or in-game CGs. Uh, and art, which is nice, it's nice, but I do feel like they could have expanded on that. As for the story itself, it seems pretty extensive. Just, I cut out so many story segments from this video. It just, there's a huge amount of visual novel storytelling, which is great. I Again, I just mentioned that I love that stuff, and I really do. Lots of characters represented, lots of them mingling, not just from a specific faction. They're just kind of all intermingled in there. The only one that I didn't really see a whole lot of was... Um, was Iron Blood really? Because we just saw I, there was really just Prince Eugen and Bismarck were the only two that I recall seeing. Uh, but the fact that you have all these characters inter intermingling, interacting, uh, fully voice acted, really brings the characters to life. It should delight fans, delights me, uh, and I'm looking forward to definitely being able to understand what they say when we get the localized version. Uh, in terms of the gameplay itself, it's relatively basic. It's almost like a straight adaptation of the shoot 'em up esque gameplay from the Azure Lane mobile game, kind of transmuted and transformed uh, into a, a 3D shooter because you still have the same cooldowns from the weapons. Um, you still have the like some of the dodging mechanics. I mean, there it, there's a little bit more of an advanced strategy just because uh, you have more dodging mechanics. You have uh, ship swapping. You have more control. Uh, and you can, you know, aim your fire and things like that. So, you know, there's definitely there's definitely more to it. Um, and it feels good to play. It's very responsive. There were some slowdown in certain areas when things got very hectic. Um, but overall, the game feels very good. To dodge back and forth, it feels nice. Controlling the ships, um, it's very responsive. Many of the ships do feel very samey. Um, I will say, even from the, the very limited amount of experience I got with playing with certain amounts of ships, um, or certain ships that were available to me, a lot of the ships did feel very samey. Um, they all kind of have their own speed, their own out, like weapon output and cooldowns and things like that. But even given that, some of the ships did feel very, very similar, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because a lot of the sister ships in, in Azure Lane you would expect to play similarly. So that could definitely be by design. And it could also be that I haven't leveled up like certain aspects of their skills or I haven't uh, equipped proper equipment on them or gear on them, which obviously was I was completely lost when trying to navigate that menu, so I didn't even try. So that's there's a whole other aspect of the gameplay and the building and composition that I didn't even touch upon. So um, this is just kind of a very, very, very Cliff Notes version of uh, our first impressions um, after just a couple of hours of playing. So I imported this game from AmiAmi.com. It's the Japanese version. The North American version will be coming sometime in 2020. They haven't nailed down a specific date, but they did announce that they are going to be localizing it and publishing it, and I'm definitely going to be getting that. Um, if anything, all of the visual novel sequences that I had to skip through uh, made me more excited about getting the translated version, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. And I'll be playing this version uh, on and off too, trying to make some progress unlock some new ships and play around with the uh, the picture mode because I'm a huge nerd and I love playing around with the picture mode. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you're excited for Azure Lane Crosswave, if you've imported it yourself, maybe you have your own first impressions and maybe you were screaming at the screen uh, in frustration and watching me try to fumble with the controls and everything else. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching and if you did please feel free to leave us a like comment and subscribe to the channel for more azure lane content in general if you'd like to see more azure lane crosswave content leave a comment just saying what you'd like to see if you'd like to see anything we thank you all so so much for watching we really really do appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with us and until next time let's protect those waters